What's happening everybody and welcome back to another episode of No Man's Skies. If you can see with our outfit we're wearing, we are starting from fresh from the beginning. However, we're not really from the beginning like we did start there, but now we've we've traveled a bit. We've traveled a bit. So if anyone that hasn't seen that, you can go back and watch those previous episodes. But now we have a mine, so we're like, you know, we've got two million. So we're starting to make our cash, we're starting to get there. Um, yeah, we've got to activate a copper mine, we've got a salt mine, so they're not the greatest. But this next one, what we need to do is in our starship, we have now unlocked our first drives. So these ones here, our cadium drive, will allow us to go and um, pretty much get cadium. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but yeah. So now... We're going to add in our KDM drive on our spaceship. And we are set, mate. We are set. We are so damn set. So pretty much, let's also check. Do we have fuel on this board, on this baby? Hyper drive. Yep, we do now. We do now. Okay, so now, this should allow us to travel to the star systems that we couldn't go before. Or one one color of the star system that we couldn't go before. No. So let's go into the galaxy. All right. So you got your different colors. You can see. So the red star system must be the one that we can go to now. So you need emerald drive to go to green, and you need an a. Um, Indian Iridium or something, I'm not too sure. But we need we need something else to go there, <laughs> to go to the blue one. So we could only travel to like the yellow stars before, I'm pretty certain. Yeah, we're at a yellow star. But now we can travel to the red stars. So let's go. Yeah, this looks like a good place. But hopefully when we get there, uh, we should find a planet to be able to create our first Cadian mine. Should it, we should be able to find like activated cadium, I'm pretty certain. And then yeah, that'll make us a lot more money. So we'll become super, super rich. Let's see, undiscovered. Looks cold. Life incompatible planet. Cadium. Well, cadium's on there. Not activated cadium though. I'm pretty certain you can get activated cadium in these places. This one kind of looks like Earth, mate. Radiated to Sanicadium. Yeah. Looking for the activator, mate. That's what we're looking for. That's where that's where the true money's at. This this time of the thing, you know? This far along, that's what the planets they're the mines that you want. So our first one we had a salt mine. Which didn't really matter. But now yeah, just standard cadium. Um there's one more planet out the back here. See, can we get to it? Can we see it? Sort of, kind of. This one looks cool too. And just stand a cadium. All right. So we didn't didn't find any activated cadium. So let's go back to the galaxy. We'll jump to the next one closest. This is where um, a scanner sometimes is good too, and you can scan stuff. Okay, let's go here. Let's see if we get any better luck here, eh? It's usually it's best to go to like places where there's plenty of planets. But you gotta be careful though, because sometimes when you're warping in, there's like battles and stuff. And you don't wanna be mucking around with that right now, especially not on the starter ship. Warped 15 times. Too bloody good, mate. Too bloody good. Yeah, yeah. Come on, skip. Gotta find out what's on this planet. Look at these storms, man. Look sick. Okay, that's standard cadium. This one looks like a big water planet, so... Yeah, I was gonna say, if it's that one, it's not gonna be any good. Standard. 
Pretty certain is it activated. You find it. Activated Cadia, mate. Damn sure of it. It's rare. But you will come across it. I think we can't scan that planet yet. Right? Is this just a moon? Oh, there we go. Activated cadium. Look at that. Windswept moon. High sentinel activity, which is kind of annoying. But, this is what we want. Perfect, mate. Absolutely perfect. So we just do the same process we have with all the other mines. We pretty much, you just come in, you gotta make sure there's power, and you gotta make sure there's an actual mine. Come in for a landed. Usually it's good to have like a copper mine or something by this time. We do have activated copper, which could I think we can reverse into copper. Oh, there's gas. Oh, wrong button. <laughs> wrong button. So how dangerous is this planet? Doesn't look too dangerous right now. It's a little bit hot. Nothing nearby, eh? Nothing nearby. Alright. Bye. fuel up. That's what else we need. We need one of them. One of the ones where it recharges itself. So once again, it takes a little bit to find like the right spot. We're about to find how bad storms are here. Uh, let's try here. We've got a mine, but no power. Once again, no, no good for us. You will find, like, you know, better mines. It's no point of running, like, a S-class mine on solar power, you know? <laughs> it's pointless. Pointless, mate. Well, to what I found it is. Maybe I'm wrong, but yeah. Hottest new planetary record. Hottest temperature. Whoa, okay. Fair enough, mate. Fair enough. Gotta melt my ship into a block, you know, block of iron. Let's see. What's it do for us? Nothing. Ooh. Yeah, this is what we want. Okay. But we're gonna have to wait, because, yeah, look at how hot that is, mate. That's roasting. That's roasting. But, yeah, this could be the place. This could be the place. We'll wait till the storm finishes. We're gonna have to start working on some shields as well. Get some um, some decent shields for us. But I have found like S-class shields and that somewhere. I can't remember where I found them. Not in this game, but in past games. But we will get there. We will get there, mate. Just need a drink of water. Hopefully the storm doesn't last too long. It's always trippy when you're just sitting there and just watching the world go past. You know, you see like the animals and the <laughs> ships coming in. You, just, you, you take more note when you're just sitting there. Alright, let's get out and test it. I know it's going to be too hot, but we're not here to do that. So, it's way that way C class and the mines B class so if that's activated iridium man woo, woo, ain't A class or something but B still good you know still B still better than average mate above average you know the way we're going we're gonna be billionaires in no time mate no time mining gurus <laughs> <laughs> Absolute crazy. I don't know. How long is this storm gonna last, mate? How long is your storm gonna last? It's getting hot. It's getting real hot. 
Okay, so which way is the line? We're going straight ahead. 200 that way, 300 that way. They're pretty far apart, actually. Unless they're both, like, way over there. You know? Like, one's that way. kind of that way. Yeah, it could just be like further over that way. Whoa, we're almost... didn't realise how um, <laughs> overheated we are there. Alright, what well, this storm looks like... Oh, now it's clearing. Now it's clearing. But, we're going to leave this one here. We're going to leave it on a cliffhanger. So, um, yeah. Smash the like button. Hit the subscribe. All that mad stuff. And in our next episode, we will be building this activated cadium mine which will get us super rich mate super rich well and truly on our way to being a billionaire so as always i'll catch you in the next episode see you later